can certainly be achieved because it is uh, it is based on truth and the truth is that every human being is valuable china is going to be a middle class economy what china calls a moderately prosperous society it can certainly be achieved because it is uh, it is based on truth and the truth is that every human being is valuable there is no human being who is by birth higher and some human beings that are lower some countries that are higher and some countries that are lower that does not happen every human being every country big or small they all have the same same status and therefore when we when we talk of well off society it means that all human beings should have their basic necessities met their basic human needs met and when when people have equal opportunities then each individual will grow to his or her full potential i think it is achievable it's not a utopia it is possible to achieve it and every country in the world should strive to achieve the the level of well off society well the government has an ambitious objectives to raise or double per capita income um uh, over the next um uh five years um i think the the goal is achievable it will not uh require uh however china to return to the rapid 10% growth uh of the um 1980 to 2010 period i think this can be achieved uh with the government's new targets of about 6 to 6 and a half percent growth the importance for china i think is less on hitting quantity targets and more on hitting quality targets But if china is able to do that uh then its goals for a moderately well off society are achievable uh important uh and likely to occur and it means that china will enjoy higher wages and more advanced investment um i know this is happening in china already because we see it on the streets of australian cities chinese tourists turn up middle class tourists with a lot of dollars in their pockets and they spend big now they couldn't do it if it weren't for the success of the chinese economy China China is going to be a middle class economy what China calls a moderately prosperous society well, I think that it's a tremendous and huge challenge to continue developing China to continue developing the country offering jobs for the new generation uh, assuring a better uh, level of life for uh, for the people of China and uh, of course having clear strategies having clear targets and looking always to the future not to the past it's uh, it has been uh, the best decision uh, the best decision taken by by the leadership of the country and to appreciate once again that uh, the political leadership uh, has uh, changed uh, china and the life of the chinese people not uh, like uh, 95 years but maybe like uh, 200 300 years and this is really great and uh, uh, that's why now china it's such an important and respected uh, actor on the on the international stage because a country a people and even the world needs leadership needs to show that there is a strategy there are goals to be achieved and then uh, if this strategy and these goals are uh, positive the people will follow and will be satisfied of